Hi everybody, welcome to another Yarn Scrap Friday and this week I'm going to be showing you how to make this spiral granny square. <laughs> So for this uh, spiral granny square, we're going to be using four different colours. And here I've chosen a white, green, a pink and a purple. And this is just a DK light worsted weight yarn. You can use any yarn that you like, really. So let's bring in our green, white, purple and pink yarn. That's a yarn weight of a three. And with that, we're going to be using a 3.5 millimeter E4 crochet hook. And you're also going to need a pair of scissors for when you're finished. And you're also going to need a tapestry needle, a yarn needle as well. That's one with a big eye at the end for sewing in any tail ends. Okay, so let's begin. Okay, so we're going to get our four colours ready like this because we're pretty much going to be working with them all at the same time. But I'm going to start off with a colour that is going to be the most memorable. So I'm going to start off with the white and the reason for that is I want to know where I'm sort of beginning and ending. But the first thing to do is so I'm going to take the colour that I want to remember the easiest, so the white, and the first thing we're going to do is we are going to chain four. So I'm just going to do my little slip knot. If you're new to crocheting I highly recommend checking out my beginner tutorials and then coming back to check out some of these tutorials. So we're going to chain four to begin with our white. So one, two, three and four. Just chain four. We're basically going to create a four chain loop as per the beginning of many of my projects. So find your first chain and put your hook into your first chain. Now I'm going to grab the white yarn, bring that through the first chain, and then I'm going to bring it straight through the loop of my hook. And that does a little slip stitch. And that joins our four chain loop at the beginning and the end. And in the middle, obviously, is going to be a hole. Don't confuse it with your first chain. Um, you want to make sure that we're going to be working into that center hole, that one there. So I'm going to put my hook into that center hole. And I'm going to grab the white yarn and bring it through the center. And I'm going to do a single crochet. So this pattern is in US terminology as per all my patterns. I'm going to do a single crochet like so. And that's just wrapping it around the chains. It doesn't matter how many chains you've got now. So we're going to do a single crochet. And then we are going to do a half double crochet. So I'm going to put my hook back into that center hole again. Back into the middle there. Bring the yarn through. And then do a half double crochet, pull through all three, like so. Then I'm going to do two double crochet in that center hole as well. So I'm going to yarn over, go back into that center hole, center gap, bring the yarn through, do a double crochet. So pull through two, pull through two. Okay, and we need two of those. So I'm going to yarn over again and do another double crochet. Pull through two, pull through two. Okay, so in our white, so far we've got a single crochet, half double crochet, and two double crochet. And this is the most fiddliest part to this, is getting all your colours basically casted on, <laughs> as it were. So what we're going to do with our white is we're just going to pull up a long loop like that, so we don't lose our loop, and then just put that down. And then we're going to pick our next colour. So just going to put that down. Then I'm going to pick the green next, doesn't really matter what colour. Just want to remember the white ones so I know where I started. And just moving your yarn over to the side, what we're going to do is we're going to put our hook into that center hole again, and basically we're going to join our green yarn. So I'm just going to put that over my hook. I'm just going to hold it with my finger so it doesn't fall off. Bring that through the center, and I'm just going to do a little chain one just to secure it. We're not going to count that as a stitch. I'm just going to do a little chain one just to secure it. I can pull that down nice and tight and make sure it's up against your last double crochet okay you don't want it sort of over here you want to make sure it's next in line this green and then we're going to do the same thing again we're going to do a single crochet so you go back into the center and then just do a single crochet wrapping it around those those chains a four chain loop then you might just want to move that over to make sure it's flush with your white double crochet Okay, so a single crochet, then a half double crochet in your green. Okay, 
half double crochet. Then we're going to do our two double crochet. So back into that center of your full chain loop and do a double crochet, one double crochet, and then another double crochet. You want two double crochet. Okay, so you've done the same thing again. You've got a single crochet, half double crochet, two double crochet in your green, and just move them over so they're sat next to your white. Do the same thing again. We're going to pull up a large loop so we don't lose our stitches, and then just put that down, and then we're going to pick up our next colour. I'll do purple this time. Okay. Do the same thing again. Just move those tail ends out the way. Put your hook in there. Make sure your tail ends are out the way. You don't want those to get tangled up. Then put your purple, or next colour, whatever your colour you're using. Hold it with your finger. Bring that through the centre. Do a little chain one just to secure. Like so. Just pull that tail in nice and tight. Make sure it's flush against your green. And do the same stitches again. So single crochet. Make sure no other tail ends are getting in the way. Single crochet. Move it over. Half double crochet. Okay, and then two double crochets. One and another one. Two. Two double crochet. Okay, so single crochet, half double crochet, two double crochet in our purple. Just move it over. And then pull up a large loop so we don't lose our stitches. And then put the purple down. Make sure the tail ends are out of the way. And then pick up your last colour. In this case is a pink. It looks very similar to white on camera, but it is pink. And do the same thing again. Put your hook through the centre hole. Yarn over with the pink and just hold it with your finger. Bring the pink through the middle. And we're going to do a little chain one just to secure it. And same stitches again. So single crochet. Again, make sure no tail ends get in the way. You want to make sure they're clear. So single crochet, one single crochet, one half double crochet. Whoops, don't get tangled up with your white. One half double crochet, and then your two double crochet. One, and then another double crochet. Okay, so you've done the same four stitches. And again, bring up a large loop so we don't lose our stitches. So we've done the same four stitches in each of our four colours into that centre four chain of our four chain loop and we've got basically we're working with four colors at the same time and now what we're going to do is we're going to go back to our white so our beginning color it's always nice for me to remember that white it's easiest to remember is my beginning color so there we go I've rejoined my hook onto the white now our first color and then we're going to move on to round two and for round two what we're going to do is we need to find the first stitch of this green and you might just want to pull your tail end not that tail end this tail end just to make sure that's down and you should have four stitches okay your two double crochet your half double crochet and your single crochet you should have four stitches in the green we need to find that first stitch that single crochet okay and in that single crochet we're going to do two double crochet in our white okay so we're going to yarn over with our white Go into our sing first single crochet in our green. Whoops. In our green, like so, and we're going to do two double crochet in there. Two double crochet. Okay, so one double crochet, yarn over, and we're going to go back in the same stitch again and do another double crochet. Okay, so we've got two double crochet in there. Then in the next stitch, we're just going to do one double crochet. So just one double crochet in the next stitch. Okay. Then in the next stitch, we're going to do two double crochet. 
two double crochet. So one and another one in the same stitch. Okay. So you've done two double crochet in that single crochet, then one double crochet in the half double crochet, then two double crochet in that first double crochet. And that leaves you with one stitch. So you just pull your tail ends over. You should see that last stitch. We're going to leave that and stop there. And do the same thing again. We're going to pull up the white strands so we don't lose our stitches. And then we're going to move on to our next colour. So we need to put our hook in our green this time. Just bring that down. Careful not to pull up any other colours. Make sure the tail ends are out of the way. Just pull that little purple one down so we can see our four stitches clearer. And do the same thing again. We're going to find our first stitch, one, two, three, four. So there's our single crochet in the purple and do the same thing again. So we're going to put our hook into there and do two double crochet in our green this time. One, back into the same stitch, two. So you've got two double crochet in there. Then the next stitch, we're going to do one double crochet. Just the one. Then the next stitch, the third stitch, we're going to do two double crochet. And I find it helps just to hold on to the loop, the purple loop, and just put it out of the way. Two double crochet in the next stitch. So one and another one in the same stitch. Okay. And there we finished with our green for now. So again, pull up a nice big loop so we don't lose our stitches. Always make sure your tension on your yarn is quite loose. It's not getting stuck on the yarn. You don't want that to pull out as you're working round. Okay, so we finished with our green and now we need to find our purple or next colour, whatever colour you're using. Let's put our hook into the purple and we're going to do the same thing again. I'm just going to pull that little pink tail ends, help us see our four pink stitches nice and clear. So one, two, three, four, it's tucked down there. Start off again with two double crochet in that first stitch, that single crochet. One and two, this does get easier once you get going, it's always fiddly at the beginning. Two double crochet and then one double crochet in the next stitch. Okay, and then two double crochet in the third stitch. One and another one in the same stitch. Okay, and then we're going to leave that last one again. Pull up a nice big loop, and then our last colour is our pink, so bring up our pink and do our pink. So this end, now we can see we're nearly back at the beginning, so we need to find that first stitch, make sure you may need to pull it over because this was the last colour we worked with on our full chain loop, you may need to pull it over to make sure you find that first stitch. Okay, so make sure you don't go into this one by accident. So find that first stitch and do two double crochet, then one double crochet in the next stitch, just the one, then two double crochet in that third stitch. And you can make sure You've done that right by checking how many white stitches you've got left. So we're just going to pull up our loops so we don't lose our stitches. And you should have one, two, three, four, five, six white stitches left. So then if you've got six white stitches left and you've done your two double crochet, one double crochet, two double crochet, you know you started in the right stitch, the right white stitch. Okay, so now we've done that, we're going to move on to the next round and we're going to go back to our white, our beginning colour. You, know, you see it almost starting to take shape. So we're going to go back to the white. So now what we're going to do with our white is 
I'm going to go into the next green stitch and do two double crochet again. Two double crochet. We always start with two double crochet and end with two double crochet into the same stitch. So two double crochet in that first stitch. Then we're going to do one double crochet in the next three this time. So one double crochet in the next stitch. One double crochet in the next stitch. One double crochet in the next stitch. Okay, so one double crochet in the next one, two, three. Then two double crochet. Okay, so just hold on to your tail end. Two double crochet. So one and another one in the same stitch. Okay, and then that should leave you with one stitch again in the green. So we're finished with our white. Bring up a nice big loop. Keep the tension loose on your yarn. And do the same thing for your other three colours. So we're going to move. You've always got one stitch left. Okay, always remember that. So we're going to move on to our green. and Do the same thing for our green. Into the purple. So we do two double crochet in the next stitch. One double crochet in the next three. One. Next stitch. Two. Next stitch. Three. So one double crochet in the next three, just like before. Then we end up on two double crochet. That's second to last stitch. One. And another one in the same stitch. Okay, so exactly the same. Do two double crochet, then one double crochet in the next three, one, two, three, then two double crochet. And that leaves you with one stitch, which we leave for now. So then we pull up our green, and then this is where it all starts to get a bit tangly. <laughs> so be careful with all your tail ends. Now we're going to move on to do the purple. So do exactly the same thing again, but for your purple. Two double crochet in the next stitch. One and another one in the same stitch. Two. One double crochet in the next three. Uh, <laughs> to be really careful. Okay, one. Next stitch, two, next stitch, three, and then we end on two double crochet in that second to last stitch. One and another one in the same stitch. Okay, two double crochet. So that's our purple done. It's got one stitch left, which we leave for now. Put up a nice big loop, and then we do our last colour for that round, which is the pink. In this case. And do the same in the pink. So we do two double crochet in the next stitch. One and two. Two double crochet, and then one double crochet in the next three. One, next stitch, two, next stitch, three, then we end on two double crochet, one and two. Okay, so then again, leave a nice big loop, bring a nice big loop up, and there we go, that is the end of our next round. Flatten that down, see it's starting to take shape. And then we're back at the beginning again. So now we go back to our white. And this time we're going to be doing one double crochet in the next five. So in the next stitch we do the same thing again. We always start with two double crochet and we always end with two double crochet. So with our white, go into the next stitch and do two double crochet. 
one and another one in the same stitch two. Okay, so you've got our two double crochet. And this time we're going to do one double crochet in the next five. Okay, so it's going up by two each time. We did one, then we did one in the next three. Now we're doing one in the next five. So one double crochet in the next five. So next stitch one. Next stitch two. Next stitch three. Stitch four and next stitch five, one double crochet in the next five. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, and then we end on our two double crochet. So just pull that down, two double crochet. Should be noticing a pattern, hopefully. Two double crochet and again it just leaves us one stitch which we leave for now so that's our white just pull up a big loop oops just dropping my yarn on the floor <laughs> so it's starting to get a little bit tangled now but we're going to move on to our next color in this case the green so we get our green and we do the same thing again, we do two double crochet in the next stitch. We always start off with two double crochet, one and two in the same stitch. Okay. Then one double crochet in the next five, just like before. One, next stitch one, next stitch two. No. Stitch three, next stitch four, next stitch five. Okay, so one double crochet in the next five, and then two double crochet in that second to last stitch. One and two. Okay, so that's our green done. Pull up a big loop and leave it. Then move on to your purple. Do the same thing again. Hopefully you're getting the hang of this by now. So two double crochet in the next stitch for your purple. One and two. Then one double crochet in the next five. One Next stitch, two, next stitch, three, next stitch, four, next stitch, five. Then we end on our two double crochet in our second to last stitch, two double crochet. One and two. Okay, so that's our purple done. Put up a big loop, leave that, and then our last colour, which is the pink, we do the same with the pink. So two double crochet in the next stitch. One and two. Then one double crochet in the next five. One. Two. Three. Two double crochet ending on two double crochet one in the same stitch two okay, so end on two double crochet okay and then that's the end of that round bring up a big loop of our pink so there's the end of that round and you may just pull in your
the tail ends in the middle a little bit we can sew those in after and tighten those up and now we're going to move on to the last round but effectively you could just carry on with this pattern until it got bigger and bigger and bigger but i'm going to do one more round and then i'm going to stop so back at the beginning with our white and now i'm back at the beginning because i made a mental note of what color i started with and what we're going to do now we do the same thing again we start with our two double crochet so we always start and end with two double crochet one and two and we're going up by two, so we're going to do one double crochet in the next seven this time. In the next seven. So, next stitch one, double crochet in the next stitch two, next stitch three, next stitch four, next stitch five. stitch six next stitch seven and then we end on two double crochet in that second to last stitch just hold on to my green loop two double crochet in that second to last stitch one and two there we go so there's the white so Pull up a big loop of the white and do the exact the same thing for your other three colours. And I'll move on to the green, making sure my white tail ends out the way. Move on to the green. Do the same thing again, two double crochet to begin with. One double crochet in the next seven. Then in the second to last stitch, we do our two double crochet. One and two. Okay, that leaves us with a one stitch. Finish with our green for now, bring up a big loop and move on to our next color, our purple. Do the same thing again, two double crochet in the next stitch our purple one and two okay so increase then one double crochet in the next seven second to last stitch we do our two double crochet one and another one the same stitch two. Okay. so there we have finished with our purple because bring up a big loop for our purple and then our last color is our pink so we do the same for our pink I'm getting in a bit of a tangled mess. <laughs> so two double crochet in the next stitch with the pink. One and two. Always start with two double crochet and end with two double crochet. Then one double crochet in the next seven. One. Two. Three, four, five, six, 
six. Seven. Then two double crochet to finish. One and another one in the same stitch. Okay, and then I know I'm back at the beginning because I know I started with white. So I'm going to bring up a big loop for the pink. And there is the end, almost at the very, very end. And I want to stop there. You could carry on and go back to your white and do the same thing again. Always starting and ending on two double crochet. But for the next round, we would do one double crochet in the next nine. So we're going up by two. We've got one. Then we did one double crochet in the next three. Then we did one double crochet in the next five. Then we did one double crochet in the next seven. So the next row, next round would be one double crochet in the next uh, nine. And the next one would be 11 and so on and so forth. But if you're happy with that size and no matter how big you want to make this, we need to move on to a finishing round. So we're gonna go back to our white. And what we do to finish, just to square off the end is we start with two double crochet in the next stitch so one and another one in the same stitch so we start off with two double crochet then we do one double crochet in the next stitch just the one then we do a half double crochet in the next stitch okay, and just basically work down the stitches single crochet one single crochet in the next stitch, just a single crochet, and then a slip stitch in the very last to finish, like so. I'm gonna bring up a little bit of a loop there. Actually, we can cut, let's cut our white, and then just bring that through, and we've finished with our white. We're gonna do the same with the other three colors. So, green is next two double crochet in the next stitch exactly the same two double crochet in the next stitch okay then one double crochet in the next stitch then a half double crochet tangled half double crochet then one single crochet then a slip stitch And then cut your yarn, get the green out of the way, just pull that up. And there we go, it's the only time we don't finish on two double crochet. So we go and we do the same for the purple, or whatever colour you're using. Same again, two double crochet in the next stitch. Two double crochet, then one double crochet in the next stitch, just the one double crochet, then a half double crochet, then one single crochet, then a slip stitch. That's our purple done. Pull that up, then we've got one colour left, our pink. Do the same with the pink. Two double crochet in the next stitch. Two double crochet. Okay. Then one double crochet in the next stitch. Then a half double crochet. Pull through all three. One single crochet in the next stitch and a slip stitch in the next stitch to finish. And we cut our pink. And there we go, there is our finished swirly granny square, like so. And all we need to do now is tie in our beginning and tail ends. And to do that, I'll show you quickly, is we just take a tail end what I do for these ones is I go back into that last stitch. So there's the last stitch you worked that slip stitch into. I'm going to go back into there so it's to the back. Then turn it over and you want to crochet through similar colours. So I'm just going to crochet as neatly as I can in one direction. Putting too tightly, then come back in the opposite direction. 
and then just trim the excess like so. I'm going to do all the same for all my other tail ends and then I'll come back and show you the finished swirly granny square. Okay. Okay, and there we go. I've tied in all my tail ends and there's our finished swirly granny square. It looks quite cool on the back as well, actually. <laughs> I'll put it with the other one. They look quite trippy. And uh, But I hope you enjoyed that tutorial. I hope you managed to follow along. I hope it's inspired you to try something a little bit different. And I'll see you soon for some more crochet fun. Thanks for watching yet again. And please subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. And comment below, let me know what you think. And I'll see you soon. Bye. <laughs>